Hello everyone. My name is Suyash and I'm from CUCM TAC team. I've been working with Cisco from last four years. I welcome you in this video series for IP phone hardware troubleshooting. I hope this will help you. Thank you. In this video, I will explain you how you can change the network configuration manually on 7975 phones. First, we have to press the settings button to bring up the settings menu. Then go to the network configuration. Here we have multiple options like IPv4 configuration, IPv6 configuration. If you have IPv6 enabled in your environment, then probably you can select the IPv6 configuration. Uh, but in most of the scenario, we have that IPv4. So we will select IPv4 configuration. Here, the first thing that you need to know if you want to change the network configuration manually on the phone, the DHCP should be disabled on the phone. Here, as you can see, the DHCP is enabled. Uh, we have to make it disable first. Now, as you can see on the screen, we do not have any option to make it disable because of the settings are locked right now. If you can see the right top on the phone screen, there is a lock symbol. To unlock this, we have to press star star pound. So let's press it. As you can see, uh, now we have the option uh, to either uh, erase the configuration or to disable the DSCP. So we would select no. Now, if you want to change the IP address, click on add it and then you can uh, put the IP address according to your requirement and validate. Scroll down. If you want to change the default router, Validate, scroll down. I will directly go to the TFTP server. You can change the IP address of TFTP server. And hit validate. One thing I would like to tell you if you are changing the IP address of the TFTP server, it is recommended that you delete the ITL or CTL file on the phone. In this video, since I'm doing it in my lab and I did not uh, change the IP address of the TFTP server, the phone will come up because it would send the registration request to the same call manager. But in your environment, in real environment, if you if you are changing the IP address of the TFTP server manually, uh, then you it is recommended then you should delete the ITL or CTL file on the phone. Hit save. Now the phone will reset. And it has come up. Thank you very much.